Here's the next question. You could have tried number 12. An Olympic sprinter accelerates at a rate of 3 meters per second squared by applying a force of 189 newtons. What's the runner's mass? This is exactly like number 11 in terms of its structure or approach. Here's the information we have. We have the acceleration and we have the force. What we need is the runner's mass. So let's do this. Again, we start with writing down what we know. What we know is the acceleration, which is 3 meters per second squared, and the net force that's being applied by the sprinter, 189 newtons. We're asked to find the mass. Okay. So again, Newton's second law, net force is equal to mass times acceleration, and just as last time, we need to get the mass by itself, so we're dividing by A, and we get mass equals net force divided by acceleration. We substitute these in. We have 189 newtons divided by 3 meters per second squared. And as we discussed before, the newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. So newtons divided by meters per second squared are just kilograms. And 189 divided by 3 is just 63. So the mass is 63 kilograms. This is actually a reasonable number.